Hello Studebaker fans, my name is Bob Ziff and I'm the owner of Avanti Parts and Restorations in Morrisville, Pennsylvania. We supply Studebaker parts from the 30s up to 1966 as well as Avanti parts from the 63s up to 1991. We manufacture aluminum radiators for the Avantis as well as uh, aluminum gas tanks. Here's a sample here of our aluminum uh, gas tank. Avantis have always had a problem with the tanks rusting out. These are made with marine grade aluminum plate, all computerized TIG welded. Uh, they've got a billet aluminum filler and they're ready to bolt into uh, every Avanti from 63 up to uh, 91. One of our more popular products is the Turner Disc Brake Conversion Kit. These are available for all Studebakers, including the Studebaker trucks, back to 1941, as well as the Avantis from uh, 63 up until 83 when Avanti Motors started using the GM system in 84. Up until an option uh, became available in 63, all the Studebakers had drum brakes all the way around. And most experts agree that disc brakes stop better than drum brakes. So it's pretty much a no-brainer to install a disc brake kit on the Studebaker. It gives you greater safety, uh, much better stopping uh, ability. The kits also um, are available for the 63 to 66 Studebaker Larks and the Hawks uh, with factory disc brakes. The Avanti, on the other hand, came with disc brakes from the factory. So why would you want to do this conversion on, a, on an Avanti? Well, when the Avanti was designed in 1962, uh, they adopted the Dunlop disc brake system as was used on the uh, Jaguar XKE. And that was state of the art in 62. But in the 80s, Jim Turner uh, from Turner Brakes and Kurt Hamilton from Hamilton um, the Brake System got together and developed an upgraded kit for the Avanti and a conversion kit for all the Studebakers. What it does is gives you much, much greater stopping power. As an example, this is the bracket that Turner uh, came up with. This is the, uh, the driver's side. There's a left and a right. And these are uh, 5 8 high grade steel, all grade eight hardware used on these. And this is the heart of the system, which starts the conversion process. Um, the old system is totally removed and this bracket is installed. The calipers are uh, actually GM Chevrolet pickup calipers. The system is much more available. We use the um, uh, power stop ceramic pads, um, low dust, they'll probably last the life of the car. And you can see the difference. This is an original Studebaker pad. This is the upgraded pad. And it's about two and a half times the size in overall surface area. They'll, they'll stop much better than the original brakes. Uh, we use, um, the kit comes with um, new grease seals, new bearings. Um, the hose is a little different. It's a um, banjo hose that's included in the kit. And also every kit that we send out, we include a tube of uh, red Loctite, which should be used on all the bolts when the, uh, when the kit is installed. Here's a, a new rotor. As you can see, it's much beefier than the original rotor. These are actually 11 inch Ford rotors. And the reason we're using Ford is because the bolt pattern then remains the same as on the Studebaker. And then of course, all the kits come with the, um, the needed inner and outer bearings. You can use the old bearings, they're still the same, but the kit comes with new bearings, you might as well use them. And the uh, grease seal, uh, dust covers in the kit. Um, one important item, this is the uh, seal adapter that's um, part of the kit. And what this does, this provides a new seal surface for the, uh, for the grease seal. And it also spaces that rotor out about an eighth of an inch to center it in the caliper when it's mounted on the car. Um, We'll, we'll show you how this installs. It, this is about a 2000s interference fit. So we heat this, slide it over the spindle, and uh, it'll cool and um, remain tight on that spindle. Uh, the beauty of that is there's no cutting, there's no welding, there's no real alterations to the car. This is the only minor change. 
And if somebody in the future wanted to put the original system back on the car, it's just a matter of heating this, removing it, and the, the original system could be reinstalled very easily. That's the kit in a nutshell. What we're gonna do is go back inside and actually do a, an installation on a 1963 uh, Studebaker Avanti. So you can see for yourself just how easy it is to install this kit on the Avanti and on any Studebaker, including the Studebaker trucks.